Hey there everybody, it's Wayne D. Welcome to the website. It's WayneD.com. And you're looking at my left forearm and my left hand. And what this video is going to be about is left wrist position at the top of the swing. So I was interested, since there's been a trend towards some interesting wrist positions at the top of the swing with Colin Morikawa and DJ and Brooks Kepka, Victor Hovland, John Rahm of having the left wrist bent into flexion or bowed at the top. So I wanted to go back and look at all the major champions that I have in my model swings. I've got 86 guys. I wanted to look and see, take an inventory of what kind of wrist positions all those players used. Now I'm not taking into account any kind of grip and club face. I'm just looking at the wrist at the top. So if you take your hand and you put it up in front of you like this and you make a fist, the wrist appears to go into extension or have a bit of cup to it. Now my good friend Jeff Mann, who's well versed in biomechanics, he would call that a anatomically flat left wrist. Now to get a geometrically flat left wrist, I'm going to stretch my fingers out and there you go. There's a, That's a dead flat wrist. Now if I curl my fingers and I take out that little bit of extension, now I have a, what I would call a flat left wrist here. So if we go back and we look at from a neutral position, if I bend the wrist into more extension like that, we're looking at a cupped wrist, or what I would call a neutral cupped wrist. And if we bend it back more, now we're into cup territory. Now Hogan said that he did that, but if you look at his swings, his wrist doesn't really look like that, that exaggerated. So I'd put him in the the neutral to neutral cup category. So we already talked about going into more flexion. So if I take some of the cup out of it, I would call that neutral and then we go to neutral flat by bending a little bit like this and then we go to flat slash bowed by bending a little more and then we're gonna go full bow by bending a little more which I don't have any range there so I can't really demonstrate the seriously bowed left wrist. All right. So looking at the numbers, I came up with about 63 out of the 85 are between neutral and cupped. I had eight right in the middle at neutral flat and I had 14 in the flat to flat bowed or bowed category. So let's take a look at a couple of examples of of each. So we'll start off with a cupped wrist at the top. And then we're looking at Bobby Jones. And we're looking at Webb Simpson. So if you look at the copy underneath the video, if you read that before you watch, I've got all these guys listed. So these aren't the only two, they're just two examples. So let's go over to a, a neutral cup and we'll go Zach Johnson on one side and we'll go Justin Rose on the other side. So let's take a look at Zach. 
Now, Zach's got a extremely strong grip, so when he's up there in a neutral to cut position, his face is going to be closed. So there you see it. And if we look at Justin, now we see the same thing. Now these are very subtle and you could go either way if you wanted to go one category up and say that Justin Rose is neutral then wouldn't be anything wrong with that but let's see if we can find a what I would call a truly neutral grip so here's an interesting player Julius Boros let's watch this Take a look at the top of the swing. So we see a little bit of that. So we're always looking at small increments of difference here. Let's watch Adam Scott. Classic swing. So I'd call that a classic neutral grip. Now let's go to neutral to flat. So that would be taking the wrist and having it slightly flattened off so the knuckles are going into a little bit of flexion at the top. So we're going to look at Tiger Woods and on the other side we're going to look at Champagne Tony Lima. So I see just a little bit of extra flattening there. Okay, but now we're going to go over and, and look at a couple of what I would say absolutely flat wrists. I'm going to look at Rory McIlroy. Jim Furyk. So there's a real nice example of flat wrist. Now you could argue that McElroy is tending towards neutral flat, but I would call him flat. Flat to bowed category, I've got Arnie and I got Justin Thomas. Arnie give it a lash. So when you go flat bowed, we go a little bit into flexion there. Same thing with Justin. And to get to full bowed, go to one obvious choice. We're going to go to Dustin Johnson and we're going to pair him up with Lee Trevino.
So there you have it. Just a little bit of a, like I said, an inventory of major champions just to, just to see what's what. So you can see by the numbers the tendency is toward having a little more extension in the left wrist at the top as opposed to flexion.